In this video, I'd like to show how to get the detail to be in a normal map in Substance Painter from ZBrush. So here you can see that I've got the high-end detail. Um, if I scroll down, this is my level one. And if I scroll up, this is my level um, seven, which is 12 million polys. Um, now, I could use the multi-map exporter in the Z plugins, and you can see that I can make a normal map here. So I could export out my normal map, uh, similar to how I made a displacement map. However, there's another way that might be kind of easier to do, um, and because it's a normal map, it allows us to do this. I can bring in the high resolution mesh and bring that into Substance Painter and have it create the normal map automatically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and export this out and I'm gonna call this, um, I'm just gonna go into source images. I'm gonna call this um, new folder. I'm gonna call this uh, T-Rex or I'm gonna call this uh, normal maps, okay? And I'm gonna call this OBJ T-Rex um, and then L7, okay, for level seven, save. Then I'm gonna go ahead and export out the lower one at level one. And I can see at the top here, it's taking quite a bit of time. And if your computer is slow and you want to maybe save some time, perhaps you could bounce this down to maybe subdivision level six and uh, use that as your highest level um, it's going to be significantly less polygons so which would, should cut down the time and hopefully not lose too much detail something that i should mention is that these spikes sticking up um, do not exist on the level one detail so when i put the normal map on in substance we're not going to see the spikes actually stick up you would need a displacement map for that. And once again, I have another video showing how to do that. But the normal map is just gonna give the illusion of all these scales and all the depth um, if we're looking at it. But once we get, when we get to the side, we're not gonna see those scales. So I'm just gonna pause the video and let this uh, produce this file. Okay, that was taking too long to save and I can see that um, if I go from level seven, uh, there's really not that much difference. Like I can hardly see any difference between level seven and level six. Maybe I'll even try level five. Okay, between five and six, I can see that I lose a lot of detail there. And now that looks good. But when I go from six to seven, I don't really see that much improvement. So I'm gonna put this back to level six, or let's say level six. Um, and I can see that this is only 3 million polys now. So a big difference between 3 million and 11 million. If you had like unlimited amount of time and you could just let your computer sit, um, maybe you do it at the highest just for the highest quality. But I think that this will be good enough um, for this example. So I'm going to go ahead and hit export. And I'm going to save this once again. So if I go to T-Rex, uh, source images, normal maps, I'm just going to call this OBJ, T-Rex, and then I'm just gonna call this L6, because it's level six, hit save, and you should see that uh, the saving process is significantly faster. So I think it's a good kind of trade-off between kind of optimizing our time versus the quality. So I'll just let that think. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export out subdivision level one. And that's all we really need is subdivision level one, and that, what we consider the highest subdivision level. Um, notice that technically, yeah, I do have a higher subdivision level, but because of the reasons that we talked about, I think that this is a good, uh, this will kind of speed up our process. This will also speed up our process in Substance Painter as well. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna put this to subdivision level one and I'm gonna say export, and I'm just gonna call this OBJ T-Rex L1. 
Uh, and then let's say if the normal map doesn't look that good when we apply it in Substance Painter. Uh, another trick is that you could export like level two as your lowest. Um, and I can see that that's 11,000. Um, and maybe, you know, this would actually have an easier time to hold that detail rather than being so low. Um, so if it doesn't work that well, um, try bringing your second highest or your second lowest as your, we'll call it your absolute lowest. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into Substance and I'm going to go File New. I'm going to set this to PBR Metal Rough if it's not already. File, I'm going to select... I'm only going to select the level one. So under normal maps, uh, the lowest level, I'll put this to 4096. Um, if I have UDIMs, I'm going to make sure that UDIMs are checked. And I do have UDIMs, meaning it has more than the zero to one space in the texture sets. And here's my character. Okay. And now where's all of his detail? Um, well, instead of importing maps, because I don't actually even have any normal maps, I'm going to import the high poly character in here. So to do that, I'm going to go to the um, texture set settings. And in the texture set settings, I'm going to go to bake mesh maps. And in here, I, I'm going to say I want this to be 4096. And then here's kind of where the bread and butter is where it says high definition meshes, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna put my high level, I, I can see level six OBJ of the T-Rex right there. And it's important that he's in the exact same spot. Now, because I'm bringing it from ZBrush, it will obviously be in the exact same spot. And you can see that we don't see it there. I'm just gonna leave everything alone and I'm gonna go ahead and hit bake, um, bake all texture sets. And now what it's going to do is it's going to take that information from that high resolution mesh and it's going to essentially project that information onto the low resolution character uh, that I have in there. And like magic, we're going to kind of see those details. So I'm going to let the computer think. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Um, and then when I come back, all of these will be uh, set up. Okay, that took maybe, I don't know, five or six minutes, and I can see that it finished. Uh, you'll notice a few of these that are red. Um, that's saying the ID, you don't need to worry about that. Um, I'm gonna just click OK, and I can see that it produced all of these maps except for the ID map, and I can see that here it is. Um, that detail from the normal map is successfully onto my model here. And if I, um, if I press 4, I can see the wireframe, and I can see that I'm getting additional detail between the wireframes, so I can definitely see that it is my low poly, yet it's the detail from the high poly that was in there. And if I had, um, um, you know, the teeth and things like that, I'd have to bring those in kind of separately. Maybe I'll have another video on that, but... Um, for now, just kind of creating a normal map, um, and I can just click on the paintbrush, or I believe press one to get out of that. Um, and if I wanted to see this, I could go here, and I could say a normal uh, plus height plus mesh, and I can see right there. I can also see that, um, like the ambient occlusion map, was produced based off of that detail, um, and all of this stuff is. Uh, what's called baked in there. So it's not really stuff that we even know that's there, just kind of behind the scenes. So hopefully that was helpful. And that's how you produce normal maps from ZBrush into Substance Painter.